Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This will be a short little video as I talk about this, which is my newest space probe currently hurtling away from the sun at the speed of light. Because rule, rules are made to be broken. In this case, well, in, rea in reality, the speed of light is not made to be broken, but in Kerbal Space Program, anything goes. Now the actual speed of light is like 299,792,458 meters a second, something like that. And in this case, I just run up to 300, or 300 million, or I guess, yeah, 300 million meters a second, uh, just to make things easy. Well, originally I got up to like 310, but I had to like do some fine tuning to get it just, you know, perfectly 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 because um, I'm just that way. At any rate, it is currently flying away very, very fast. Like here, if I speed up time, uh, we just keep going. And now I'm, yeah. I've never actually seen how far, or like what the sun looks like, you know, you can actually get far enough away that it stops looking like that. But I'm not terribly sure. At any rate, we're going so fast that, <laughs> like now, no matter how far I sc scroll back, this solar system is just too far away, which is hilarious. Now, to make this get up to the speed, um, I did have to cheat. What I, ooh, ooh. I think things are breaking. That's interesting. Uh, I did have to cheat a little bit. What I did was, I basically made this part, uh, this engine, I went into the part file, and made its thrust, like, 7,000 or something like that, as opposed to its usual 20. And, um, I then launched it into orbit, and put on infinite fuel, and went from there. I just turned it on to maximum speed and let it go for about two hours. And um, when I came back, I was at, well, actually I was paying attention the entire time, but I basically just waited until it got up to um, the speed of light, which, again, even at that speed, took about an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, I tried making the things go faster, but any faster than 7,000, I guess, like in terms of strength for, th for this little engine, caused it to like rip apart and flip around, so I had to find a happy medium. Also, I had time acceleration, like, up at 2, but any more than that, it would, it would break. But, yeah. And here we are. Cruising away at the speed of light. Uh, breaking all the laws, because within a normal space-time metric, you cannot get mass up to or surpassing the speed of light. You can reach an arbitrarily close percentage of light, theoretically, but you can never get to it or past it. And in this case, I can actually go past it. I mean, watch, I just do this, and now we're pa faster than the speed of light, and we are breaking causality, which is a big no-no in physics. You're not supposed to do that. Of course, there are ideas on how to go faster than the light without breaking causality, um, like the LQBR drive or other such things. However, the LQBR drive, looking at it, it may violate causality, although nothing is technically moving faster than the speed of light. If you zoom out far enough, and you look at it traveling, you will get to a point where you have, like, cause like how it works, it basically manipulates space, um, contracting it in front, expanding it in back, and you basically ride this wave in this bubble um, from point A to point B. So the ship actually isn't moving at all, the universe is moving around it. However, if you zoom out far enough to where the ship, like, you know, you're like, like basically the... The space manipulating is localized, so theoretically you can actually zoom out to a point where you just see a, like a point on space-time traveling superluminal, and that's still violating causality, because again, like un unless the, the warp affects the entirety of the universe, you can get to a point where it's still a point traveling faster than light. I think al um had that in his, in, his, in his paper about how it doesn't violate causality, I actually need to read it again to make sure, but uh, there are some other potential ideas. Wormholes, although I'm not terribly confident about those. If string theory is right, and there are other higher spatial physical dimensions, depending on how they're shaped, um, there is an idea you can go from point A to point B much faster by simply folding through the fifth dimension, where you basically go, instead of like taking the entirety of the physical space from point A to point B, you just basically separate yourself from space-time and travel a short distance across a, a gulf, and then you're there. Kind of like hyperspace, only 
not. Well, it might be actually. I'm not sure what you'd call it. I know Heim talked about this too, or, or like Heim theory has some ideas on this, where you can theoretically push yourself out of this space time into a, a different layer of space time, where either the speed of light is different, or the distances are different, or something. However, I'm more confident, of course, this is all theoretical, in the idea that you can actually fold through, or I guess quote unquote fold through the fifth dimension, where you're, basically what you're doing is you're actually traversing through the fifth dimension by detaching from space time and poking your way into from what point A to point B by just circumventing everything. Think of like a newspaper where all the pages are like folded in on each other, and to go from like one part of the page to the other part of the page, you'd have to like travel the entirety, like entire entire distance of the page, but you or you could just like go from one part of the page and just like go from one page to the other by just traveling the small tiny space between the two pages instead of having to like follow the entirety of the page, like the curve. Or like the classical idea from like a Van Horizon. The ship doesn't really go faster than light. What it does is it creates a dimensional gateway. Or interstellar where you have a piece of paper and you fold it in half and just poke through. It folds space so that point A and point B coexist in the same space and time. And then the spacecraft passes through the gateway space returns to normal. Kind of like that, only not wormholes. And Event Horizon was a terrible movie. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show off my fantastic relativistic spacecraft, um, called Relativistic, which is currently violating all laws of causality and doesn't actually accomplish anything. It's just fun.